That's CJAD News to Midnight and Shatilla reporting. I'll have news again at 1. Thank you, Anne, and welcome to Montreal This Morning. I'm Dave Rogers. Glenn Morrison is at the controls. And let's get it all underway with a little bit of Stevie Wonder. <laughs> Stevie Wonder, If You Really Love Me, on CJD 800. Well, tonight we've got a lot ahead of us. We've got, on tonight's old-time radio broadcast, we're going to feature The Shadow in an episode called Death Stalks the Shadow. Later on in Comedy Corner, we're going to have the recordings of Woody Allen from his album called Stand Up Comic, and then Carl Reiner will interview Mel Brooks on their album called 2013. And we've got a little music at nine minutes past the hour of midnight here on CJD, Tierra and Together. Tierra and Together, that reminds me, coming up February 14th. That's a big day on being together. That's Valentine's Day, and it's next Sunday, I believe. Don't forget that. Whatever you do, don't forget that. I'll have a a couple little tips for you about uh, what you can do and what can be interesting on Valentine's Day. Also, I've got a little note here. The snow is coming down. We're expecting about five centimeters tonight, or this morning, actually. And also, the Metropolitan Boulevard West between Henri Barassa and Lacordaire would be closed this morning for snow clearing. And we got, right now, a little bit more music from Montreal's own Pierre Lalonde. And what can you do from CJD? That's Pierre Lalonde, and what can you do from CJD 800? We'll be having a little bit of David Gates right after we hear these words. Now everybody's talking. The yes, I know, the Klondike. First exit west of the Carry Circle for stakes versus their weight in gold. 19 minutes past the hour of midnight here on CJD. We have 11 degrees. That's 13 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, as promised, a little bit of David Gates. <laughs> Hey, Good Hardy with Birdwalk on CJD. Well, you always knew it, ladies, but there's proof that when it comes to love and romance, it's really the guys who come out the weaker sex. A study of young dating couples done by Rick Zubin in the United States shows that it's the fellows who are the first to fall in love and the last who want to leave a relationship. Rubin also says, says that men are romantic about hoping early on that promising date could eventually lead to true love hmm. and that to become involved more quickly and easily than do the majority of women they're dating. It seems that these days women are hard-headed ones that when it comes to figuring out compatibility and comparing the relationship with previous experiences. And when love dies, says Rubin, women handle the breakup of romance much better than men do. Things sure are changing. Here's Diana Ross, the last time I saw him. Crystal Gale, any time, ain't no sunshine. What are you going to be doing on Sunday of next week? Sunday of next week is, of course, February the 14th. It's Valentine's Day. It's the day that you need not miss. You shouldn't miss. There's so many things you can do nowadays. Before it was maybe send some roses or maybe some chocolates or maybe just a card, but things have expanded so much. The service industries around town and such. There's, of course, there's um, Eastern Onion, sort of like Western Union. You can send a crazy little singing telegram, maybe. How about uh, balloons? How about, um, of course, you got your stripograms and your pelograms and all those sort of crazy things. But I guess when it gets right down to it, and a lot of people aren't that crazy, just a simple note, maybe a card. And uh, the cards that I enjoy now, is they have some out. I don't know if you've seen them, but there's nothing on the inside. You have to write your own. And I was looking in uh, paper the other day, and I pulled out something that I thought was quite interesting. It's America's number one Valentine poet. Her name is Susan Polish Schultz. She's America's greeting card queen. And what she says is the four steps to do when you want to sit down and write somebody a love note for Valentine's Day. Here's what you should do. Step number one. First of all, you should sit down and you should think long and hard about the person you want to write to. What do, what do you like about him or her? 
Why are you happy with this person? Thinking is important, she says, because once you have something to say, you'll have the feelings to write them down. The next step is to go over all the thoughts and feelings in your head and then put them into words, into simple expressions. Try to cut it down a little short. The third step in writing a, a love note, have an addressed envelope ready. This almost forces you to complete the act. I don't know how many times I finished a card or a letter and I thought, this is, this is really silly. I, they're going to think I'm crazy. And you either crunch it up and throw it in the ba waste paper basket and start again. And the fourth step is obviously telling me what to do. The most important is to mail or even better is hand deliver the letter and just don't let it sit there totally unseen from the loved one you want it to get to. Now we got a little bit of Vic Franklin here on CJAD with My Foolish Heart. Peter, Paul and Mary with John Denver's Leaving on a Jet Plane. Some people won't be leaving on a jet plane, especially if they bought tickets for Freddie Laker's Airbus. Today, Freddie Laker's Airbus went bankrupt. He just, basically what happened is he loaned, he got so many loans out and he, he ended up with being caught up in the travel crunch that a lot of the airlines are being caught up with and not as many people are traveling and costs of fuel and such. And an era in aviation has gone by, a, a real pioneer Freddie Laker and the Airbus, no more brown bagging it across the Atlantic. Also, uh, what seems to be happening is the regular carriers, such as Pan Am and Air Canada, uh, were forced by Freddie Laker to bring down the prices. And it looks like uh, those prices will stay down for just a little while, I hope. We're going to continue with more music. Sister Sledge and My Guy from CJAD. Gladys Knight and Her Pips, Forever Yesterday, a real beautiful song here on CJD. We've got 15 minutes exactly past the hour of 1 o'clock. My name's Dave Rogers. I'm going to be here till 6 o'clock in the morning. I guess I can confess to you now my most closely guarded secret. This is the first time I have sat in front of this microphone and talked. I've worked in other capacities in the station probably during the midday when you've heard me doing special reports, but that's rather different. I get to type out all my words, and if I make a mistake, I can just stop and go back. But this is live. I hope you're enjoying it as much as I am. And speaking of enjoyment, let's listen to a little bit of Joe Wood and a song aptly called Confidence from CJD. I just stepped outside and looked out the window. And it is blowing out there. The snow is coming down. We've got a little optimistic note here right before the news. We'll take you up with Spirogyra and the saxophone of Catching the Sun. At the tone, 1 o'clock at CJD 800. <laughs> 